fourth one I hosted, surprisingly it's always with the ladies because they know I'm gonna go deep down and get the scoop, but I'm also a huge fan, especially of this person. Gotta admit, guys, she was one of my first ever crushes. Man character? Yeah, you know, Michael Wall Street. Remember the, um, uh, the movie, uh, yes, Wall Street. Thank I, you. What's, what's the, the, the uh, actor's Michael name? Michael Douglas. Thank you, Michael Douglas. Yeah, so that was basically who he was supposed to be. How of, creative sort of. is that process where, hey, there's a popular movie the called movie, Wall Street, and we got a, a guy named Mike, Let's and that make guy it is happen. Michael Douglas, Michael yeah. Wall Street. And Mike, um, I still to this day have one of the original laptops that I smashed over Pillman's head and cracked it uh, in one of my storage units. But doing. Paulie once told me that he fell asleep taking a backdrop in midair from I the believe it. dog. I believe it. As much as Paulie exaggerates stuff, I believe no, that. No, he does not. I believe that. <laughs> um, so wait, so you'd be doing, would, this would be live? Like he'd be your bodyguard and he'd just mm. fall asleep standing? Just standing there. <laughs> but he had sunglasses on too, so you couldn't, couldn't tell. tell. How did he not tip over? I don't know. But like like being in the like this you know, is amazing. You know, you know when you're in. Can you do you the have a specific room? moments where we could go on the WWE Network? Look, look at anything where he's standing beside me, where I step back and he's like not moving, and I'm, I step on him, I step on his feet. <laughs> I I'm like, what the hell? Um, this is awesome. But in now, the locker room, years, hang on, I don't mean to cut you off. Think of how many years I've known you. I've never heard this story. It's awesome. Now think of how wrestling fans are going to enjoy this, and when you say. You're um, and it was Janie, um, Dusty, and I don't remember who else was with us. I remember Janie and Dusty. And all of a sudden, this taxi pulls up, and because of where we were seated outside, we could see exactly who pulled up and, you know, checked in or whatever. And so Dustin pulled up, and he got out of the car, and it was like, doo -doo 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 -doo, like this weird thing, like, I looked at him differently. Don't ask me why. I still to this day don't know. So then later on in the evening, we all went to dinner. And I don't know who had this big, long, like, van that has like one, two, three big seats in it, like a big white van kind of thing. Um, we all went to dinner, and he was like, you know, I'm going to peel out, and, you know, you and all you old farts can go on and do what you want to do, but I'm going to go to the titty bar or whatever. And I just said to him, I said, dude, you're not going anywhere. You're staying with me. Whatever we do tonight, you're going to be with me. And he, for some reason, did that. And then that night we come back, first time I've ever had tequila in my life, last time I've ever had tequila in my life. But you have uh, Ricky Morton. Mm -hmm. Also known as Richard. Yes. Yeah. See, she's keeping it real <laughs> after all these years. Uh, he's oh. now joined which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Robert Gibson, I believe, got hurt, mm -hmm. and yeah, that's he why they turned yeah. him heel. Yeah. What about the significance? I know it didn't mean anything to you, but did you, now that you're in the business, did you feel it, plus you're working with Ricky Morton, um, when he turned on Robert? Was that like a big deal to you, or you care less, it's no, just business? No, I remember I had been in the business long enough to know, and when I say in the business, even as a makeup artist, you learn right, right. The, the echelon of, of each person. When the guys, when Crockett would fly his boys in, um, you know, they would tape Saturday, Sunday, and then they would fly out. And sometimes they had, am I allowed to talk about rats or no? I love rats, you can talk okay. about them. They so don't some, exist anymore. So sometimes they would have rats that drove them to the airport, yeah, it, it, at, at a certain point, when I was so committed to him, I was like, I can't do this anymore. You gotta choose. So now you, leave, you left WCW because of that? No. Nope. Well, that was my question. So the answer to that question is, um, the whole thing was, I knew that all of a sudden, Dusty went from being kind and cordial to me to being very antiseptic and cold to me and we were at center stage, and I remember he said something um, that was just, I don't even remember what he said, but it was just rude and wrong. And I just said, I'm done. I literally kindly, calmly packed my bags, drove out of center stage, and, and left. I have no idea what my last Alexandra York match was to this day. I have no idea. 
I have no, I'm sure they didn't say a word about it. They didn't say anything like, you know, where'd she go? I think they just, you know, out of sight, out of mind. There's no internet either, so there's no... But, yeah, I have no idea what the last thing was that I did, but, yeah, I walked out that night and didn't come back. And Dustin stayed? Dustin stayed. Okay. Wisely enough, Dustin stayed. Your career in your head is over? Yeah. Were you okay with it? Fine. (laughs) So, Dustin's mom is sat, my mother is sat, and all of a sudden... Barry Windham, Magnum TA, um, I forget who else. They came, they came down and sat in front of the mothers. That's I was Russell's mortified. Yeah, those wrestlers were good. I was so mortified. They should be. They're, they're the main eventers. They're Holy your family. shit. So. Um, Who'd your family ever beat? Come on now. What? Who'd your family ever beat? They should have been the front right, row. Right, right. Anyway, so yeah. Um, they were there. Dusty was Dustin's best man. My sister was my maid of honor. My nephew, who, God love so him. So even though there was heat, he still was there for his son. Absolutely. That's what I like Absolutely. to hear. Absolutely. You have a wonderful wedding. Yeah, a beautiful wedding. With baby in your belly. Baby in my belly. Did you wear white? I did. You, but he wants me to be this outlandish, crazy, um, like almost like an androgyny he, 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 he didn't know what the word androgyny meant at the time now he does if you didn't know um, if his character his character was all about messing with your mind you know if he was total gay. 90s if total, you if yeah. you were being gay if you were straight if you were weird right. and Dustin also is a big movie fan that and but at the other side of that little spectrum Dustin was a boot wearing tobacco chewing six foot five Texan the last thing God, like that, that would look so good with gold dust. Like, that's amazing. Then I started thinking, and when I, when all this came to fruition, I'm in our tanning bed in our basement. Um, Dustin's on the road, so I'm at home being mommy, and I'm tanning, and I went, what is it that, that WWF doesn't have? They've got Scary Sherry, they've got Tammy Sitch. One is the screaming, you know, <sighs> And this other one is like a cis boom bot. But nothing is this elegant, strong female that has nothing to do with masculinity or whatever, like old school. And the more I thought about it, I was like, wait a second. They're, tr- they're, they're using all of these old movie lines with Dustin because he's this actor, which, you know, Russo did all of that. And so I just started thinking, like, it would be so cool to have Dustin be managed by this very somewhat androgynous female that is very strong, like the old school trains that you walk, you know, the, the red carpet to the Oscars. She had, like, 60 uncles at that <laughs> point. And it was the, the funniest thing, too. Like, they would come and say, hey, you know, can I take Dakota to the ring? Or, hey, can I take Dakota to get her popcorn? Like, right before the fans came in, or cotton candy, or, hey, Shawn Michaels, God love him. To this day, no matter what he's done, great, bad, or indifferent, he would lay on my dressing room floor and play Polly Pockets with Dakota. Do you know what Polly Pockets are? Like, when when somebody does that for your kid, or your kids, you... You have a new appreciation for that person. Yes. So, yeah. How long was he, he, you said, so he was there for six years? I said we were married for six years. But you were, were you together? We were together for eight, married for six. I'm talking about the character, Goldust Marlena. Your run now in WWE is six years? At what point, babe? You're confusing me. No, so how long are you two an act in WWE? Oh, 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 from, I, I debuted in, in January of 96. Right. I divorced him in 99, and we broke up that year, I believe. I believe? I don't know, shit. I don't Did have you memory. stay? I stayed, he left. What were when you I said you weren't hardcore, you were the hardcore champion for a moment. For a hot minute. Was that? Second. WrestleMania? Minutes. You were just on Raw 25. Did you miss it? Did you want to be back? It, it's, wrestling is the most addictive drug any of us will ever take. That one little, you know, I, I popped, oh, here you come, boom, your music hits. Wow, we, we, that's, we can't get enough of that. Right. Did you, or did you just like, ah, oh, that's cool. Uh, what time's my flight tomorrow? You know, 
How was that for you? To, to be honest, um, once I got there, and I, and I will say this, like Dustin said to me, he, um, he pitched that I go out with him. He's like, she's here, Tara's here. Why wouldn't she, you know, let's have Marlene and Goldust go out. And Vince said, um, no, she's gonna have her own spotlight. So Dustin, being Dustin, he sends me those exact words. Vince says you're gonna have your own spotlight. So I send back, but I'm going out with you, right? Meaning, so I'm gonna go out with you and they're gonna have some new, spot, some new spotlight with, with all the production that's gonna shine on me. That's what you mean, a new spotlight or my own spotlight? He goes, no, no, you're not coming out with me. Um, so I was like, okay. And, you know, I ended up, I, I sent Vince an email and said, you know, I know what you said, but I'm packing gold dresses in case you change your mind. Gold dust will be in whenever he decides to totally Must be. hang it up. But I think it would be cool if you inducted him or, there, or at least you were the one to present it because you were like, the present, I, the presenter I, of that. I love him with all my heart. It, it's, um, oh my God, don't make me cry. You have to. Cry. This is real and you love it. Uh-uh, don't make me cry. Okay. It's awesome. And I've always said this to him when you guys weren't having the best of relationships. And I know you're a little still crazy and so is he and you guys would probably still fight. But no matter what happens, you produced a beautiful daughter and you gave the world and showed the world a lot of love and that's why they get it back. So we'll end it on that note. Can I say one last thing? No, because you're gonna cry, your nose is gonna start running. Okay. You may start choking, I'll close on you out of your chair, I'll hit you with the natural lariat right here. No, you can say it, you're friggin' your thing. No, I was just gonna say that, um, <laughs> You're not Barbara Walters. Why are you making me cry, it's dude? It's still real to me, dude. Damn it. it. Damn you. No, I, I just, I'm really proud of him. Um, he's been through a lot, and he has, he's done a lot, and he is an amazing father for our child, and I, I just, even though we're not, um, together in a husband and wife setting, so to speak. He could call me any time of the day or night and I can't fathom me ever saying, find somebody else to help you, right. I won't. So yeah, I'm, I'm proud of so him. But guess what? What? The same could be said about you. So there you have it. Don't sell yourself short even though you are short. Because you are.